According to the World Health Organization, they define mental health as a state of well-being in which every individual realizes his or her own potential, can cope up with normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. In today's COVID-19 pandemic, are our nurses doing fine lately? Good day, everyone. I am Jasper Tupino, and here are my members, Alessandra Trilis Trabasas, Connie Catraza, Nika May Villaruel, and Linda Lois Vistar. And here we are going to present to you our research study entitled Mental Health of Hospital Nurses in COVID-19 Units. So for the purpose or objective of the study, the study aims to explore the lived experience of hospital nurses and their mental health in COVID-19 units. Here we get to explore the different situations of hospital nurses and their mental health in different institutions in Bacolod City in the course of the pandemic. The goal is to investigate what are the prevailing mental health issues experienced by Bacolod hospital nurses, their coping strategies, and the different factors associated with it as to why they experience these issues of the mind. So for our method, this study uses phenomenology, research design, and key informant interview method. Research interviews done virtually due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Proposive sampling method is used specifically expert sampling. There will be six hospital nurses working in COVID-19 units in different public and private health institutions in Bacolod City will be subjected to this study. Three from public hospitals and three from private hospitals. In selecting research participants, the research ought to follow the inclusion and exclusion criteria. Researchers will utilize the researcher-made instrument in this study containing two parts. Part 1 will include the demographic data of the participants containing their name, age, sex, educational attainment, and occupation. Part 2 will be the guide question and areas to be covered by the researcher related to the lived experience of hospital nurses and their mental health in COVID-19 units. Ensuring trustworthiness is important in qualitative research. This study used Lincoln and Guba's evaluative criteria. For our inclusion criteria, first, male or female, single, married, separated, or widowed, public or private hospital nurse, aging 25 to 50 years old, actively working and affiliated in any public or private hospital, locally located in Bacolod City, working for a period of more than or equal to two years in a public or private hospital, must be a staff nurse, senior nurse, or nurse supervisor, and assigned in a COVID-19 ward or unit. For our exclusion criteria, nurses who are not actively working in any public or private hospital, not assigned in a COVID-19 ward or unit, who are not willing to participate in the study and not in the right state of sound mind and sound body. For results in theme one, understaffing of COVID nurses at Anikwe facilities. Among the six research participants, five of them complained and mentioned that the challenges they had working as COVID nurses was that there were not enough nurses to carry out the job of taking care of COVID patients. Increased workload, longer working hours, and the facilities where their work at is unprepared receive suspected and positive COVID-19 patients. Moreover, the healthcare system remains unequipped with the necessary weapons to fight the COVID-19. This put a toll on their mental health as their workload increases than it was before and that they were unprepared. For theme two, emotional toll on nurses and their families. The participants have opened up about their families and own emotional tolls. They share their family's reaction for entering the gym, especially during this pandemic. They are much worried about contracting the virus both at work and outside of the hospital and bringing it home among the family members. These challenges have compromised nurses' mental health due to the anxiety and stress that it brought in since, since it is not only their life who are at risk, but also the family members that awaits them. For theme three, COVID-19 compensation and benefits of hospital nurses. The current salary and benefits for nurses here in the Philippines are not enough to sustain their daily needs. Nurses here are underpaid, overworked, and unappreciated as experienced by the participants of the study. They are already physically and mentally tired. One thing to, one thing to raise their moral and interest to work while in taking care of patients is to properly compensate them for their level of work. Team 4, Coping Strategies Among COVID Nurses. The participants opened up about their experiences on how they cope with the challenges they encountered as COVID nurses in the ward or unit. These challenges led them to come up with ways on how they would cope and deal with such challenges and difficulties. Significant coping strategies that the participants of the study verbalized are the following. Open communication, sharing of thoughts to others, group discussion, positive thinking, venting out, asking for help or advice, unwinding outside of workplace, self-reflection, self-discovery, and learning new things. 
For theme five, mental health issues, anxiety and fear. All of the participants have opened up on how each of them experienced anxiety and fear before entering duty in the workplace and even after their shift ends. What these COVID nurses experience on a day-to-day -day basis is something that compromised their mental well-being since as soon as they entered the COVID unit, they are putting their life on the line, become worried if they would bring the invisible enemy into their household and risk the health of their loved ones, even risking themselves in developing mental health disorders if worst comes to worst brought by fear and anxiety. For our conclusion, there are different factors that could affect the mental health of the COVID nurses. These are the understaffing, unequipped facilities, emotional toll from their families and themselves, and their compensation and benefits. With these factors contributing, the participants acclaim that the mental health issues that they face are anxiety and fear as they are fighting an invisible enemy. Different coping strategies used by research participants are totally evident, which positively means that they are able to fight back against these mental health issues that they experience. So this ends our presentation. Thank you for listening and have a great day.